In this movie, I'm going to show the drawing tools. So I have to have something in my Adobe Connect room. So I've got a SharePod open that just has a PDF on it. And I, if I were teaching in class, I might want to draw attention to something on that slide. So there are a couple things I can do. One is to just choose the little green arrow and then you just simply click or click and drag where you want to put it. Now with the PDF, it's a little problematic because you see this thing going on. So in, if you've got a PDF, you're better off just clicking where you want. So if I was talking about point number four here, I could just come down here and click to it. To turn that arrow off, you just simply select it up here again. See how it's dark? That means it's selected. If I choose it again, it turns it off. Now the other thing you can do is use the drawing tools. So I click the word draw and this will not appear unless you have some kind of content in this share pod. If it's an empty share pod, you won't be able to do it. So I've got a bunch of tools over here. I've got markers. I've got lots of other things that I can pick from over here. I'm just going to choose, for example, my marker and I can come on here and write my name. And I can even uh, select it then. I can do different things with it. For example, if I want to change the color of it, uh, I want it to be red or something like that. I can go in here and change it. Um, so I can then select it and resize it, whatever I want. Using that pointer tool at the top, I can also go in and select it and delete it. Now, if I've done it on this slide, and you can see down below I'm on slide number four, when I switch to the next slide, it goes away. But when I go back to slide four, it's still there. So if I want to get rid of it, I would use the pointer tool and just click on it to select it and then delete it. Other things I can do, I can add text. So if I want to come up here and just start typing. Uh, another way that people use this sometimes is to put a map on the screen, a map of the world or a map of the United States or a map of their, their local area and give people the right to use these um, these tools, allow people to use them, and then they can go in and just maybe circle the city they live in or something like that. Lots of different things that you can do in there. Uh, so again, I can um, come in here and draw with shapes if I want to. Lots of different options down here. I can add fills and opacities and borders. I can change the thickness of the line. All kinds of things that I can do to draw on screen with the drawing tools using Adobe Connect. 